hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you are doing well today i am going to talk about two-way air passive crossover before we talk further it is a good idea to know what is audio crossover is an audio crossover is a device in a speaker system that device a full range audio signal into different frequency band and direct each band to specific driver. This ensures that each speaker, like a Twitter, midrange, and woofer, reserves only the frequency it is designed to handle improving sound quality and protecting the speaker from damage. Well, now I am going to try to explain one by one the two-way crossover audio that I have. Basically, it is a two-way audio crossover. This is the input. This means that it is where we insert the audio signal coming from an amplifier. What I am showing here, it is the audio voltage pin coming in. There is a positive and there is a negative pin. And next is a positive pin, and this is a negative pin for woofer. It must be remember, do not get the polarity wrong when connecting to the speaker, because a mistake will result in the left and right signal losing their base. The next terminal is Twitter. This is positive and this is a negative terminal. Is it okay to have a wrong polarity when connecting it to Twitter? I don't think wrong Twitter connection will cause any problem because it is a high frequency connection. So the dynamic movement of mechanic is almost none. This is the inductor L1 for base or woofer. After I calculated, the value is 0 0.15 millihenry. Receive audio signal from the positive amplifier, then also function as a low pass filter, then insert the positive terminal into the woofer. And here is the negative. This is directly from the amplifier and goes also to negative woofer. Dari the signal sini, coming from the positive dua. input of nah, the amplifier is also dua, connected to the capacitor C1. It is value is 6.8 microfarad. After passing through C1, it is connected to L2 as the inductor. According to mathematical calculation, the value is about 0 0.24 millihenry. The junction between C1 and L2 is branched to resistor 1, 2, and 3. Basically, the three resistors are to form three gains or attenuator which selects from minus 3 decibel, 0 decibel, and plus 3 decibel. An interesting configuration is that this tweeter will use only one resistor and this is selected by sliding switch 1. According to the person who designed this two-way crossover, it is Phenom. He made a switch for polarity. So the idea, so the idea is like this. He will sliding the switch to the zero degree and 180 degree position. This will cause the polarity the tweeter to change. The positive become negative and negative become positive. Let's take a look at the bottom cover two-way passive crossover. The printed circuit board used by this device is of the ordinary type. 
All the components used by this device are true whole component without a SMD component. It doesn't feel like it is too possible to make a crossover with SMD. The two-way passive crossover have a crossover frequency is 3 kHz. Actually, the device of the two-way passive crossover, you can make it yourself according to the schematic that I will give. And I have surveyed several places that passive two-way crossover are still too expensive. It also costs around 20 US dollar. I should give you the wiring diagram of the passive crossover. Read if you have any question, please leave a comment. The dimension of the two-way passive crossover are not too big and not too small. Approximate size is 10 by 8 cm. Thank you for watching. See you next time.